The following is the online audio journal of Kathy Gregory. The journal was titled C underscore C underscore M dash P. The 4th of August, 2012. My boyfriend left me today. Something about me being too weird for him. Something else about me caring too much for him. <sighs> I began crying as soon as he slammed my door. It isn't my fault I care, Nathan. I just wanted us to be together. That's all. It's hardly my fault that I just wanted us to be happy together. I still love you, baby. He did leave some stuff behind, though, hearers. He left his hoodie and a picture of himself. It's one of those old Polaroids. I just can't tell what's in it, but I want to keep it anyway. And I'm definitely keeping his hoodie. It smells just like him. The 5th of August, 2012. I wore his hoodie all night long, like a few of you hearers told me to do, and you guys were right. It did make me feel a little better. I slept like a log while wearing it, and I don't want to take it off. It smells so good. I keep the Polaroid picture in the pocket. I would attach a picture for you hearers, but I think it might be a more private thing if you catch my drifts. I still can't make it out though. It looks like it was left by a windowsill for too long. Almost looks a little like burnt film. Some of you were asking me what the noise was in the last recording, and I'm sorry about that guys. I must not have noticed it when I was recording. Well, I'll explain. My apartment building is getting some things redone and there's a few tools out there scattered about. I, I think it was the sander you guys were hearing. Again, I'm sorry about that, guys. The 7th of August, 2012. Sorry I couldn't record yesterday, guys. It was a big construction day for the apartment. A lot of tools going off, big builders swearing, and even me swearing at them to stop their construction so I could talk to you fine people. Sadly, construction has to go on so they can fix those flickering lights and whatnot. Don't know why they have to do it while I'm trying to record this, but that is how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Anyway, I've been wearing his hoodie for three days straight now. I still miss the guy. He was obviously in love with me. Probably couldn't handle it at such a young age. Poor lad. I wish him well, though. I just wish he would have left behind more of a smell. He just smelled so good. He didn't smell of sweat, but smelled of hard work if that makes sense. It smelled pleasantly of construction sites in the city. It smelled so good to me back then. Well, it still does now. I do wear his smell every day. Wish I could have that smell in a bottle or something. Just spray it all around my apartment, you know? It would smell so good. Anyway, here's, uh, I took some more of your advice. It was a pleasant feeling. I give it that, but it didn't fit my man's size. Any more suggestions would be great. 8th of August, 2012. I thought about it long and hard, hears. So I'm going to take some more of your advice. I just want to feel as close as I can get to Nathan, even if he doesn't care about me. I'll see the rest of you hears later on. I hope you're ready for a surprise. 9th of August, 2012. Today, guys, I did something a little drastic. But you guys made it sound so beautiful. I duct taped around the hoodie. I made it so you can't see the duct tape. But around my wrists and waist and little bits I put around my neck. The hoodie is basically airtight. His smell is inside the little airtight space between me and the hoodie fabric. It smells so good. It smells of pleasant smoke and sweet chocolates. It just smells so great. They're still doing construction in my house, but it's calmed down. No more loud tools and builders swearing. Thank God. They left all their tools behind, though. The nail guns, the screwdrivers, and the sander are all still out there in the hall. I've been thinking about telling our landlord. No telling what some kid could do with some of those things. 10th of August, 2012. Hey, here's it's Kathy again. Sorry if I sound a little bit sad, but the smell is seeping out the hoodie, and I don't know how to stop it. 
No worries, though. Uh, it is still strong. I can still smell Nathan on it. It still smells of the lovely mystical man I fell in love with. Something I didn't know was that I actually have male hearers, too. Hey, guys. To answer your question that you won't stop asking me, no, I will not post naked pictures of myself, but thanks for the compliment. 11th of August, 2012. Sorry guys, this has got to be a short listen for you, but I have to go run a few errands. Uh, um, I'll see you all tomorrow. 13th August, 2012. I tried out the method. I used some cheap stuff that I found up the road, but it worked fine. It has become a part of me, almost effortlessly. Time to prep for tomorrow. Big surprise in store. 15th of August, 2012. I pulled off the hoodie and put it into a plastic container. I closed the lid quickly so the smell wouldn't escape into the walls. I took my scalpel and pushed it slowly into my stomach, only a centimeter or so in. Then I dragged it across the bottom of my stomach. It felt like being softly pricked by a thumbtack as I finished the incision. From the straight line, blood seeped down. I washed the scalpel in rubbing alcohol and put it back into the incision. My wound twinged from the alcohol and felt like hot metal was being slapped on me. I held my breath and slowly drew the scalpel upwards, my hands shakingly dragging the line up to my armpit. I didn't bother with the rubbing alcohol this time and began the third part from my armpit. I drew the incision line around my arm and drew it up my shoulder. From my shoulder, I drew it to my other, being careful to miss the neck and not ruin my good time. From there, I connected the lines together. I put the scalpel on my table, squeezed a loose flap between my thumb and middle finger, and slowly stretched the skin away, peeling it off. The smell of it hit me. It was the smell a toilet would have. The second layer of your skin smells awful. I pulled it off and threw it to the ground. I could feel my muscles twitching and my stomach aching with the pain of the stomach being sensitive to the air and what was around it. Carefully, I put the hoodie on. I shuddered as the fabric touched the open wound. It felt like matches being burned on my nerves. I sat down on my bed, feeling my blood warmingly trickle down my stomach and legs but also being absorbed into the hoodie. I passed out for a short while. The smell of Nathan dragging me to sleep was pleasant, <laughs> despite the laceration. I woke up on the 14th. Almost 18 hours had passed, and I felt fine. Sick and about to throw up, but fine. I could still smell the lovely smell of smoke and ash on the hoodie. I put my thumb on the hoodie and tried to pull it. It wouldn't move. The hoodie has become my new skin, a new part of me. I hugged myself, feeling the warm sensation of pain from my stomach, but I didn't care. I loved the smell and didn't want to let go. I love you, Nathan. Kathy Gregory died of rejection and blood loss. She was found by construction workers. On her person, she had a Polaroid picture. It is still being examined.